new year. I'm driving a Z4M. it's Joel and welcome back to the channel if you're new here please consider subscribing as 2019 as you can see already is going to be an incredible year anyway happy new year guys and welcome to my friend Andy's incredible incredible Z4M coupe amazingly he's given me the keys to this car today and I'm going to take it on a first impressions drive once I have worked out how to secure this uh, Let's go this harness, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, I wanna take you guys along with me and this is gonna be incredible fun. Wow, this thing feels awesome. Whoa. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. So then, Z4M, this is the coupe. 2006 model. So the first year it was made, already, uh, I know a few things about this car. It has got hydraulic steering as opposed to the electric steering that my Z4's got. Um, and it's got this very, very nice short shifter gearbox, which feels brilliant. Already the steering feels nice and tight. I think we're playing with 340 brake horsepower. I'm not quite sure on the torque figures, uh, but you can definitely feel that low down power. I drove an Alpina earlier in the year, and although that had more torque, this does feel more powerful low down as well. Um, first impressions wow so then I don't really know enough about this particular car to tell you exactly what the exhaust is um, and why it sounds so incredible but it really does sound amazing so like I say that steering is really nice and tight you definitely feel more connected with the car but the throttle response is absolutely brutal if you just tap it slightly it's gonna eat you up this car is absolutely mental like Oh, it is insane, the throttle response. I'm actually extremely surprised how raw this car feels. <laughs> it's, it's actually like driving a little, <laughs> like a race car. <laughs> this thing is brutal, guys, honestly. The steering feels incredibly well connected to the car. I, there's no other words, to, there's no way to put it. Um, obviously that is down to it being hydraulic and not electric, like my Z4. And like I say, the throttle response is even more instant, especially in sport mode. Uh, the other thing I love, just from first impressions, is seeing the bonnet scoops uh, that the Z4M has. You'll see from the outside later on in the video. Um, but yeah, the way the the lines come up in the middle of the bonnet just looks really menacing and imposing from where I'm sitting. Now, even though everyone talks about these cars, a bit like mine, having all of the power up at the top end, it does still go at lower revs. Fourth gear, two and a half thousand RPM. 50, 60. It pulls, it really, really pulls. And then if you drop it down even a few more, unbelievable unbelievable I, I am actually surprised the difference between this and mine I always knew this being 110 brake horsepower in advantage of my car that it was gonna be faster and it was probably gonna feel faster as well but I think some people that I've spoken to have toned it down a bit because this is next world faster than my car um, obviously as you can see from the outside and probably the inside as well this has had a few bits done to it. We're in 
bucket seats. I've got a harness on. It's a carbon roof on this car, uh, amongst a few other bits as well. So this is probably slightly faster and slightly lighter than a standard Z4 M Coupe. Nonetheless, I think the power is what's doing most of the uh, most of the talking and yeah it makes way more of a difference than I expected it's, it's crazy I'm already wondering how 2019 it's gonna get better than this. I've noticed this being the coupe I thought it might be a little bit more difficult to see out of than the Roadster but it isn't it's got exactly the same visibility I'd say you can still see those nice arches on the rear of the car through the mirrors and also out the back no problem at all this is what's crazy about this M I cannot tell you how raw this thing feels but it's still got all of the same creature comforts as my standard Z4 you could 100% daily daily these cars and, and I think the owner of this car used to daily uh, he's had this car since new more or less and he's done 107,000 miles in it and it still feels perfect like obviously lots has been done to it but I'd happily drive this every day obviously that's a bit ridiculous because I am sitting in bucket seats and this isn't isn't daily now but theoretically it could be done goodness gracious this is this is unbelievable guys this car if you haven't driven one of these cars you, you're missing out I'm telling you I don't know how it's taken me a year of reviewing and driving Z4s on my channel to, to finally get into one of these I'm so grateful for this opportunity because this is awesome The other thing that is noticeable as soon as you step into this car is how it revs. This revs all the way up to 8,000 RPM. Whereas my Z4 obviously only goes up to, actually what is it? I think it's about 6, 750, something like that. But you've got all of that power and then you've got more revs. That's what makes this car so incredibly fast. I'm frightened, like, it's, I'm not frightened because of the traction and the fact that this thing wants to spin. I'm leaving traction control on today because like I say, I've never driven an M and also I'm only driving this for 15, 20 minutes today. Um, I'm leaving traction on and it's not scary because I feel like the back's gonna go, but it's just frightening to drive. Everything is vibrating, it's noisy, the steering's really stiff. If you tap that throttle, like I said earlier, it will kill you. Like, that throttle response will break your neck. And I'm actually terrified driving it, but that just makes it, again, such a visceral, incredible driver's experience. This, I mean, this has to be the best driver's car out there for the price that these things these things are. It's, it's unbelievably good. Um, I'm, in, I'm in love with it. One other thing I should mention before I step out of this car is the ride quality. It's <laughs> it's not as bad as you might think. Again, I'm in these these seats aren't standard Z4 M seats, obviously. Uh, they're probably a lot more firm, but I'm not having any issues. Again, I'm only driving this 15 to 20 minutes, but I find this perfectly comfortable. It's not that much. I mean, it is stiffer than my car by all means, but 
it's it's not too bad. It's really not too bad. It wouldn't put me off one of these at all. So if you're driving around in a three litre Z4, is the Z4M a worthy upgrade? Is it worth taking that extra financial plunge to get yourself into one of these? Well, my answer to that is yes. Not to say that I'm gonna go ahead and buy one of these tomorrow. I would if I could afford to, but I just can't. But for anyone out there who's considering one of these cars, Oh my goodness, like if, at least if you haven't driven one, drive one, because I guarantee if you drive one, you're gonna want one, like I do now. Um, so if you know that and you don't wanna take the extra financial plans, I would advise you against driving one of these because it is gonna, it's gonna break your heart if you can't have one and probably break your bank balance therefore as well. But oh my goodness, what an experience. I, I, I don't know what, I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. To those of you that are watching that have, uh, driven lots of other crazy cars you might you might want me to calm down because <laughs> it is just a Z4M but I'm telling you it's such the driving experience is awesome it really is awesome and you know I want to spend more time in this uh, this one in particular as you can see it's just so raw got the harnesses I've always wanted harnesses in my car these seats are awesome I'm going to be begging the owner, once you guys have seen this video, I'm going to be begging the owner for more time in this car. What an incredible experience. Well, look, I'm going to hop out, guys. And um, For those of you that are still interested in seeing more about this car, I'll do a little walk around. We'll have a look at this car in particular and uh, check out its looks as well as the way it drives. But yeah, what an experience. So guys, I have jumped out of the Z4M Coupe now and uh, yeah, just having a little look at the outside. I thought I'd show you guys as well. So as you can see, cosmetically, uh, a few bits have been done to it. So these are original CSL wheels. They're probably the first thing you'll notice. Uh, yeah, no fakes, original CSL wheels. These acid green calipers, you can see, they are AP racing brakes. Differences from my Z4, obviously you can see uh, quad pipes, which is standard on all Z4Ms. This has got a cap back exhaust, which is why it sounded so crazy on the inside, but also a lot of that to do with the intake as well, which is under there. Um, carbon panel here for the roof which looks incredible along with the BMW carbon lip spoiler on the back there also adding to it and making it look amazing. Those of you that can pay a very close attention to detail will also see that these side skirts aren't standard M side skirts they are in fact a BMW accessory part which I think the owner says was a kit for the three litre model like mine uh, but yeah it just adds a little bit of sort of flair to the to the skirts and uh, yeah makes it look makes it look really cool. Apart from that, that is mainly, I think, the cosmetic things. The next thing I'll do is jump on the inside and show you in there as well. Taking a look on the inside, the first thing you will know, obviously I mentioned whilst I was driving the car, uh, is we've got these Recaro pole position bucket seats. Uh, they are awesome to sit in, along with, uh, they're mounted with VAC Motorsports uh, mounts. These awesome looking white harnesses are Schroth harnesses, or Schroth, not sure how that's pronounced. Uh, but yeah, they uh, they just add to the whole experience being seated in here with the harnesses as well. Other than that, the gear knob is not the original Z4M, it's a slightly different one, but it makes a really, really nice short throws on the changes. And that is pretty much it on the inside. Also, you may notice there is a harness bar here, which is very nice because it matches the uh, sort of stitching on the seats as well. So very, very cool indeed. But other than that, it's very similar to my car, except this, it's got cup holders, which uh, as you'll know, Mine definitely doesn't have. The other thing you may not know if you haven't driven one of these is the dials are different as well on the M. I'll overlay some better shots of that for you now, um, but I really like the dials. They've got different speed counts, obviously going up to 180, and also you've got the sort of adaptive rev limiter as well, which mine doesn't have. Um, but yeah, very, very nice interior indeed. The one other thing I didn't point out earlier was the boot. Obviously this being the E86 shape, the coupe, it's a different, boot of course because it's not got the you know soft top that's that's obvious uh but yeah here you go it's uh I'd, I'd say it's more or less the same capacity as the roadster this is obviously in here which is covering up i suppose the battery um so that's and a bit of extra space you might struggle to get two suitcases across like you can in mine but uh yeah that is the boot of the z4m coupe if uh, if you're interested
Right then guys, well, I thought I would just sit in front of the car now to summarise, don't know what I've just done there. So I thought I'd sit in front of the car uh, now guys to just summarise that whole in incredible experience. Um, firstly, thank you so much to the owner Andy for actually bringing the car down and chucking me the keys. That, that was such a unique experience and his Z4M is very unique as well. It's incredible. Anyway, Andy has got uh, an Instagram account which I'll, I'll leave linked in the description and also on the screen where you can go and follow him and check out some of his other collection as well. But anyway, yeah, I mean, I'm lost for words with that thing. It's, it's so, so different to my Z4. I knew it would be different, but that different, I'm not sure I was quite ready for it. Um, it it's just like a road going go-kart. So loud, so fast. The steering input is so... I don't know, it's hard to describe. If you haven't driven a Z4M, you really need to get behind the wheel of one because it is, it's an incredible experience. And um, yeah, I, I cannot wait until the next time I get to drive one of these things. In terms of investment as well, I mean, the price you can pick these things up for, I, I don't know what comes close to it at that price point. Um, I, I genuinely can't think of anything that will give you the same driving experience and driving feel. Anyway, I'm blabbering on now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you still made it this far and you're not subscribed, make sure you just hit that subscribe button because 2019 is going to be an incredible, incredible year. So I don't want you to miss out on anything at all. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed it. And uh, other than that guys, take care and I will see you very, very soon.